Hello everybody and welcome to part 6 of Super Mario World. This video is brought to you by GameAnimo.com In the last episode we cleared out Vanilla Dome and made it here to the cheese, cheese Bridge area where I had a very untimely death. So, to get the secret exit here we'll need a Yoshi and a cape. Now, to do that... Don't let your Yoshi die like I did. I previously recorded this and I accidentally launched him off the cliff. Not on purpose either, I just accidentally did. <laughs> We're at 52 lives, so, which is pretty awesome. But, I can't believe those are saws. Those don't look like saws. I, the longest time I did not know what they were, and that's a really hard to get feather. Phew. Don't worry, we're getting there. The background here is kind of blah, too. It's just a very plain level. The music is okay. It's a very well known Mario World track, but. I don't know, I just. Really doesn't um No I didn't mean to get this. You get infinite wings, but um This'll I think take us out of the level if I'm not mistaken. This is a good way to lose your Yoshi. Just fuzzies with a very fast moving background and lots of little blocks. Which are very inconveniently placed and no Yoshi Hey I guess I did beat the level. But that's not what I wanted to happen. So anyways, let me um use my restore point. So now you guys know one secret exit. And let's do this level again. So now you guys actually know what the restore button does. And I wish this would go faster. This part of the level is so slow. I hate auto scrolling levels. Or anything to do with, you know, auto and scrolling. Like this. And you get all the Yoshi coins there too, which can automatically give you a one up, but. I don't know. It's just. Don't hit that block if you want to get the secret exit. If I have to come back and get the normal exit for you guys, then yeah, I'll take it because, you know, we'll see the actual ending of the level, so we can just take the shortcut. <laughs> but this time, I really want to get the secret exit. I couldn't on my last... Uh, let's play this. Now, don't get that. Now, okay, this is where the game gets difficult. You have to make it across on a Yoshi. So, see how you're meant to do that? Well, um... Yeah, see this? You're gonna be doing this the entire freaking level. It can get very, very, very tedious and difficult. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. There it is. Okay. Now, kids. A to launch yourself off. Okay. Ah, oh, I made it! Woohoo! We got three up and. We get the secret exit tape. I haven't done that in freaking forever. And this time I caught it. Wicked. That was just sick skills there. Poor Blue Yoshi had to die though. And that brings us to Soda Lake. Which this is actually where World 4 is. World 4 isn't as small as you'd think from looking at- Oh no. It's only one level of torpedo tets on this game and it's this one. This one didn't have a secret exit, did it? Okay, Fire Flower might come a little in a little more handy in this level. Torpedo Ted is invincible unless you have invincibility, so don't worry, no matter Oh, that was just bad timing, like Ugh Man, there's no way to avoid any of those enemies. You know, unless I just Whoa, Torpedo Ted can be very, very annoying. You know, Torpedo Ted's not in a lot of Mario games either. Like, he's just in this one, and that's it. It's like... Why was he ever even invented? Okay, now I need to swim... Oh, what the, What was that? Stinky game. What, am I back at... Oh, I'm at 50... Oh, yeah, I forgot I got the 3-up moon. Okay, anyways, let's, um... Avoid all these weird green fish and the Torpedo Ted's get the mushroom and not take damage again. Well, you know, I didn't lose my mushroom until later on. And 
Great. Again with that freaking torpedo Ted. I don't see it coming like that. It's just there all of a sudden. It's funny how these things can stay off camera. Like like off the screen. Oh what? I touched the fish's back. You know. Well, we beat the one level that I can never beat, but now I'm having a difficult time with the um rest of the levels. This level's not even that hard. Well, it's hard, but it's not that hard. I'm not gonna freaking take damage in that same spot again, I swear. If I do, I'm probably gonna... Ah, oh, really? Either I can't get past a fish, or I can't get past... Torpedo Te You know what, I'm not gonna bother with that coin. Okay. Oh, of course! How do you get past them? Like, there's not enough speed in Mario's swim to make it down, make a buy before he freaking, you know, smashes into you. And why only one power up in like this entire area? Can you at least give me, you know, like, god power or something. Like, as soon as they launch, they continuously launch after that. Okay, now wait for these stupid guys to go. So once you do that, they shouldn't be able. Oh, of course, now he's lower. He was never a problem before. Uh, torpedo Ted, you suck. So much. Fish! Fish again. Sup down there, Torpedo Teddy. Woo, that was like some extreme off screen diving right there. Difficult. Run! Oh, really? There's like four fish right there. Whoa! That was like way too close for comfort again. There's been a lot of close calls in this game. Don't, 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 don't. Woo! Run! Wait a minute, I swear I got to here somewhere else somehow other, other than this video, but no, I never made it to the ending. Whoa! <laughs> that was terrifying. I didn't want to have to die again. I have a random Jake the dog from McDonald's sitting on my desk staring at me. Hey, and that brings us to another, um... Star Road. That was really just one difficult level to get to the Star Road. Star Road 3, which is either Yellow or Red Yoshi. Hey, Rel... What was that? That was just extremely bad timing. He can eat the blocks, that is freaking hilarious. Ah. Now we actually have to find the secret exit here to beat the level. Now. Oh, of course. I forgot about that. Woo! Anyway, we beat the level normally. Ta-da! Skills to pay the bills. Not really, that was kind of pointless, but whatever. Anyways, let's go back. At least you can... Freaking, um... I want that one up, please. Now, actually, what I want to do is I want to get off him. And... Ah, oh, frick. Hop... Wait, wait, really? Now, Yoshi, come back! <laughs> He's just like hopping in the background. Yo, wait for me, Mario. Where you going, man? Okay, what we have to do is we actually have to throw the block at him, I forgot. No, you know what? Whatever. Ugh. Must get in there. Whew. Yeah, it's funny, because up here is like the secret exit, like right away, too. Get out of the cloud. Mario, get out of the cloud. The cloud is. Where's it going? It's flying away without us. Oh well, we got this. We got the secret exit. Brings us to Star World 4. Which we don't want to go to yet, because we still have to go back here and beat the other levels. So let's go back up. 
And go back to Cheese Bridge area. At least we get a mushroom right here. We don't have a Yoshi, so we can't cheat the level either. Which is a real letdown. As if I wasn't rolling with the sun. As if I wasn't rolling with the sun. Why I'm singing this cheesy song, I'll never know, cause I'm Mario. Don't expect me to sing, boys. I frig, I almost missed that. Ah, la, 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 la. I'm getting cocky here, boys. Whoa! I, um, was trying to fix something, but no, this game tried to throw a buzzsaw at me. Thank you again for throwing buzzsaws at me. I think I'm gonna hop into the midway tape. I'm gonna ride some ropes. Cause I can. Cause I'm a dope. I don't even know what I'm talking about in this episode right now. Can I go down this pipe? Ah, oh, there actually is a pipe you can go down. Is this the one with the bullet bills in it, by chance? Yep, it is. There's like one wave of four bullet bills and that's it. Brings you on the other side of some of those, uh... These tape thingies. Rope thing- why'd I call them tape? Here's which climbing on games is a little faster. And you could avoid taking stupid hits. Which I actually managed to do. Woo! Yeah! Cheese Bridge area is down! Once and for all, we never have to show our faces in this level again. So if you guys are wondering why, like, some of my ep that one episode I uploaded wasn't- It was on there and disappeared. My rendering sucked. Oh yeah, what was the level of this name? I mean, name of this level, level of this name. It's Cookie Mountain, filled with Monty Moles. I should probably one of my- oh, Thunder Thighs. Oh, of course, Monty. I want this power-up then. It's probably up another f Really, that didn't do anything for me. I'm gonna collect these- Ah, really? I can only hit one at a- Yeah. I didn't mean to fly. Like, none of these levels have secret exits, though, so they're not too hard. Now, I think what we want to do... Oh, of... Oh, of course, Monty Moles. Hey, what... what's up, guys? Want a piece of me? Oh, yeah, eat that, Monty. Now, I'm gonna walk here, not die by mole. Oh, mole. Oh, god, moles. Everywhere. Oh, he's like Hawk Bluey. Hmm, that was a real bummer. Hey, buddy. Hey, mole man. It's like yo, I'm back. You didn't defeat me. Woo! Oh, man, this episode is full of deaths. Well, if you guys wanted to see deaths, this is your video. It's actually I beat the level though I couldn't beat flawlessly, so that was funny. Now I just want that mushroom up there. <laughs> hey ya! Sweet mushroom! I love the mushrooms for brekkie fast. Now if you don't mind, I actually want to use this on these freaking Monty Moles. Oh. Freaking misses one too. Hmm. Let down. Eh, uh, run there. Everywhere. Oh frick, he comes for you. Oh yeah, and careful. Woo, Monty. Where'd you come from? Oh, rain of moles. And not the ones that grow on your body either, the fuzzy little critters. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just realized this is actually probably one of the only Mario games to not have a desert in it. Like, like with worlds in it at least. Cause you know, like, if you play Super Mario, it was, like, Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, I remember this freaking one. This is a weird one. This actually takes you back! I don't even know why I went down there. It takes you here, but then... Oh, okay, I get it. It's for a life. And, ooh, you. I don't even know why it... Why that bonus exist? All that for one life? Is that even worth it? Hey, Yosh! It's about freaking time I found you. 
Now, yeah, if you ever find pink note blocks in any Mario game, they generally launch you up. And, you know, take you to a mini game. Or, like, you know, fold with coins and then you get to exit. Oh, hey, it's that cloud that poops out coins. I'm the pooping out coin cloud. Do -do 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 -do. I don't get why they're happiness coins, but... Okay, you know what? I just want my Yoshi back. Hey, I caught that. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, wait. It's for a life eventually. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, hey, a feather. Can I have that feather? Thank you. Uh-oh, we're running out of time. Did you guys hear that? And why wasn't he doing anything? You know what? That was just... That was just a mean move, Chuck. Get back on Yoshi. Woo! Well, that level's out of the way now. That just leaves the fortress and the other two levels. The other two levels we'll do in the next video, just so the videos don't get too lengthy. But I will do the castle number four in this uh, video. Ludwig's castle, which is actually, if you ever play Wii and Wii U, he's always like the final Koopa. But on this game, he isn't. On this game, he's actually pretty easy. Even though he is still one of the more difficult Koopalings. The Koopas, like the Koopalings on this game, aren't actually that difficult. This is also also one of my favorite uh, castles. Oh, except for this part, though. And, oh, frick. I was about to say, with a feather it can be annoying because you start to fly. And you have to be fast, but... Yeah, without the feather now, I'm not gonna, you know, do anything stupid, but I lost my mushroom in the process. And I almost got crushed. Now, is this one of the ones that didn't have a midway tape? I think it is. Just some castles aren't that hard, though, that they don't need one. And others, it's like, why don't you have a midway tape? Okay, red coopers are fast, green coopers are slow. Boom. You can easily get a one up here, though. I'm gonna bother with that green one there, he's too slow. Ugh. Hey, um... Punk. Hey, yo. Get back here. Thank you. Bloop! Bloop! Ah, I got three one-ups though, that's pretty awesome. Anyways, yes, Ludwig von Koopa. Easy as- yeah! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh look, there he is in his bounciness. Oh, you didn't get to attack? Too bad, I'm just gonna bounce on your shell. Ugh. Ah, see, that doesn't even hurt you. I don't even know what that's for. Um, Sever, he went off the screen. That was uncalled for, dude. Just really uncalled for. Did you have to do that? Oh. Boom! It's actually a really um short castle. This is a really short world, but we're not gonna complete it just because you know the many deaths. Thank you. Not the hill, don't hit the hill. Boop. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number 4 are over. The Forest of Illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. Which actually, I think I remember where all the secret exits are, and honestly, they're not that hard, so don't worry. Some of the levels can be annoying, but other than that, it's not that hard of an area. But remember, we're not actually going there. We have to go back and beat Butterbridge 1 and 2. So... Thank you guys all for watching and stay tuned for the bridges and parts of the forest in the next episode.